All right, guys. So we're on to more of Mom's Timu paintings. I don't know why she didn't get me this one. I'm going to have to get that one as well. And I say that because she tends to buy both of us a painting if she likes it. I'm not sure if this is also an Amazon painting or a Timu painting. Because she ordered me the two Amazon that you guys might have already seen. So this, because it's whole in half, could have been an Amazon. Or it could be a Timu and Timu also has some people that fold them in half. I don't know. Let's get it out of the way. So if you're one of the people that like them come folded in half, in a way I get it, but in another way, I hate this. And you don't get that with their, when they're rolled like this. If they're handled nicely like this, you'll have no lines in the canvas once you flatten it. Once I flatten this, this stays. I have ironed it out and that worked, but I just, I'd rather them rolled up. So you have grays. Oranges, reds, pinks, a little bit of yellow, cream, brown. It is a cute picture. And depending on how Tom and Jerry look when we get to it, I might definitely want the Tom and Jerry as well. Right now, I think I want it. <laughs> Cartoons like that, they're more simplistic design. You can fit more in a 30 by 40 without it, in my opinion, needing to be larger because they don't have as much detail to the characters. Unlike this where, you know, you got the M and the head and everything. But again, the size looks fine for two cat faces, some flowers. It's a 24 color. You got your color blocking and the T's, which is... The 3865, so white background. You got threes, which are your 310 there. And then you got this little orange and white and this gray cat, some blue flowers, and it kind of looks like some paint running or something around the edge. That's a cute one. Next up, gotta look at Tom and Jerry. This one has ran out of stock and then went back in stock and everything else. So that is a nice image. Look at that. Isn't he cute? And then you have all these just like random shapes with color. That's nice. I think I have to get this one too. Look at those yellows and the greens and the pinks, blues, reds, orange, white, creams, brown. Again, this color palette looks pretty vibrant. I enjoy it. I enjoy the subject and the color palette. And I think it being, like I said, a more simplistic cartoon character that it looks like there should be enough detail in the 30 by 40. This is a very cute picture. Again, he'll have one dot for his eye and his nose looks like it might be two. He'll have the whiskers as a zigzag. So you got a little bit of color blocking to it. There are more small patches of this color than small patches of that color. Look at how nice that's going to look. I think this is a really pretty canvas. 25 colors. It's cute. Next up, this looks like a wolf. Again, a darker toned blue hue, it looks like. Possibly blue, blue and pink. 
I'm not sure how my mom's gonna like working on this but it is a pretty image so you got blues purple pink some white a little bit of red more blues I do think this is gonna look pretty nice but it is a darker canvas darker colors I mean there's still some brighter blues We have 26 colors, definitely color blocking. And then that's gonna be a little bit of confetti for you. And then back to the color blocking with those K's there and more confetti in the hills. So you got this pretty wolf. This is another wolf. This one got a little smashed. Again, a darker canvas, but with some pop of color. I think it's going to look cool. Look at those orange and yellow and the blue. Definitely brighter colors in here. Those colors stand out quite a bit more than what it looks like right now. So again, my mom's going to hate working out because of this black and all this black. But it looks like it's going to have a nice pop once you put the drills on. So I'd really like to see her finish this one because I think with those colors popping like they did in the bag, this might look really pretty. As far as I know, she is working on that uh, purple head character the uh the girl with the uh purple that i opened a little bit ago i know she had it setting out to work on but i don't know if she fully got to it yet or not so color blocking and l's which are nine three nines and then you got the pretty colors it looks like his eye might be red Look at that. Looks like it's going to be easy to read. Even those L's to me look like they should be really easy to read. There's a few J's in there. So if you're one that turns your canvas around, you might confuse those if you're not paying too much attention, but I think they still look different enough that you shouldn't. But we got this pretty wolf. Now this one... I don't know why my mom got it is like a gray black colored canvas and again she hates all the dark tones so. oh did she mess up and put this with her stuff and it's supposed to be mine I'm gonna have to ask her about that because it is a yin and yang and like I said she doesn't like all the black so this might accidentally be in the wrong pile but this is a white lion and a black lion which makes no sense but it really does look like a lion not uh, a different cat to me that looks like a female lion and a male lion and they just changed it to a white and a black so it had the yin yang style effect to it maybe I am pretty sure that's what we're looking at here. A female and a male lion. We have 17 colors, but I really do think that's a male lion. And that this is supposed to be his mane. And this is 
maybe a white male as well this might be the mane here but it almost looks like a female's face especially right here where you see the edge of the face and then you see like more white but it really seems like this is the edge of the head so thinking male lion female lion white and black yin and yang style this though looks so weird it looks almost like this is a warped distorted paw but i gotta leave this one out to ask her you got grays, blacks, a little bit of greens, a little bit of pinks. Looks about like what you see on the canvas. And one last 30 by 40. This one is a really cute dragon. If you like the color pink and you like dragons, this one will probably be something you definitely want. Isn't it cute? Look how cute that thing is. I'm not into the cutie ones. I'm not into the pink. But that is a very cute little dragon. And look at that pink. Anybody that likes pink, I think you're going to like like this color palette in here. A little bit of purple. A little bit of blues. Browns. Kind of like a cream orange color. Yeah. I wonder if the leaves are going to be more of a blue color because I don't see a green. Okay, there is green. There's this kind of greenish color in here. And there's another one. Come on, camera. There's another one in here. The camera doesn't like us right now. There's two greenish colors in there. Oh, there's another green style color. Alright, never mind. Leaves are going to be in green. So when I looked earlier today, this one only had one left. I don't know if they're going to bring it back or not, but again, that is a really cute little dragon. And if you love pink, I think that's totally screaming yes for you. The big blue eyes. And I like the kind of minty green leaves. Which, based off the color of green I saw in there, these are going to be a more pastel minty green, not a dark green. So this is a whole pastel light color palette with, like, highlights. Because this is a very vivid highlight of pink there. So it's pastel with vivid highlights is what I'd say. You have 26 colors. Color blocking for the N's, the 7's, the E's, the faces, a mix of G's and E's. Your leafs are pretty much E's with a few C's and 6's in there. Look at the blue eyes so cute so it looks almost like it's holding a few leaves that is a very very cute one all right on to the smalls and this first small looks like a mess ah a rooster I've looked at multiple rooster pictures, but I don't think I have one rooster yet. So, nice gorgeous red for his comb. Gray blue colors, browns, black, navy blue. Uh, you tell me what you think. I mean, to me, this is not going to turn out that great, but... You guys already know where I stand on little paintings. It's like, I can tell though, this is a barn door. You got a sunflower here, a few pumpkins here, and the rooster, and you do have his comb and waddle. This is his tail feathers, and his body has some colors on it. It might turn out good enough for you if you think it looks good enough. Um, 
I'm not a fair judge of small paintings because I don't like small paintings. <laughs> you got 15 colors, which is a decent amount of colors. Looking up at close like this, he doesn't look like he's going to have an eye and he doesn't look like he's going to have a beak. I mean, you could maybe put a few black dots right here for a beak or orange dots or whatever you want to do. You could maybe put a few dots there and make a beak yourself. Maybe change this one to a, a black dot for an eye. So you can maybe do an eye there and a beak here and manually put them in. But from here, it looks like there might be a beak here. But from here, definitely doesn't look like there's any existence of a face whatsoever. And again, that's kind of the thing. How far away are you viewing it? How much detail do you want? But got this rooster. <sighs> now this one looks like it might be okay in a 20 by 30. like a cat and a teacup so the teacup you're not going to really know what that detail is it's just kind of going to be swirls of color but that looks cute and looks like it might have a nose and your eyes will be there so decent for the size you got some reds blues these kind of have like a yellow hue to them. I want to call them cream, but they kind of have like a yellow hue to them. Orange, blues. This one's kind of another mint leaf style color. There's some brown in there. A little bit of pinkish cream in there. So again, this one looks decent for the size painting. And again, I have seen some 20 by 30s that look better than their 30 by 40 counterparts because of how they were rendered, the colors they chose, and everything else. So I'm not saying you can't get some of these paintings that look better than the large ones, because you can. Just the subject matter and how it's rendered really does matter. So you got 15 colors. There's P's there, A's there, U's, I's and J's and C's and... E's, R's and D's in the black there, and a pile of K's down here. So this definitely has color blocking for you, and everything looks very easy to read. So that's a good little one. Last little one. Oh boy. So you remember the cats on the bookshelf? Well... This one is a cat on a shelf. Um, there is no eyes on that cat face. That nose and mouth, which you can see printed behind the numbers, is not going to be there because that's all eyes right there. So there is no mouth, no nose, no eyes. Um, I would probably get this in a 40 by 50, honestly. I mean, I might do it in a 30 by 40. If I just want like the focal point of the cat to turn out and I didn't really care too much about anything else. But otherwise, I really think this is more like a 40 by 50 canvas so these can show up better. So, whereas I wasn't sure about the rooster this one, I definitely say that cat is going to look like a blob of color. I don't think this is going to work. Again, maybe if you have them and you want to, you could put a little black dot on here and here and a black dot here for a nose and maybe two or three and kind of like a V, upside down V shape or something to make like a mouth or something. You might be able to give it a little bit of a face, but that's up to if you want to try to edit this to do that. I just think it's not a good image for this size. So you got reds grays, blues, greens, orange. So this is the last painting and again 
for now, it means the last painting I have to unbox. I don't know. I think there's still more on their way, though. So, by the time you see this, I might already have another package in my hand. But, it got 14 colors in it. And again, I might change this solo L and this solo L to black dots for an eye. Put a nose on, like, one or both of those two. And then put, like, a dot there, there, and there, something as a mouth. If I were to do this, I might try doing something like that. You just need, like, a little pink dot for the nose or something, like, three blacks for a mouth, or four blacks for a mouth, and two blacks for the eyes or something. It's an option. Might make it look a little bit better, but yeah. So that's all of those paintings. Hopefully everybody's having a nice day or night, and again, like I said, there is at least a shipment or two still on its way, so.